Fraser. Well done. Uh -huh. Cheers. How are, you, how are you feeling? Relieved. Um, as I say, it should be before we started this. Like, looking at the names, I thought this was going to be the hardest year that there's actually been at the Q School. Like, guys like Ian Burns, he was in the top 64, literally after, after, even after he'd played in the world. And then results have gone against him, and that's how he's here. Um, there's a lot of good players, like guys, ex-pros, guys that have literally just fallen off. It's so hard. So, obviously, to get through first shot, it's, it's good. <laughs> Can get home now. <laughs> exactly. It seemed like that, that in that last, that final match, it was like a pivotal frame in frame three. <laughs> you needed a few snookers. I needed, but I need two snookers. Two snookers on the green. Um, but he's left me the green. And if I pot green and brown, I only need one on the blue. But the pink was over the corner and the black was on the side cushion. So it was it was going to be hard. So I kept I kept trying to get the blue done over the pink. I got it close a couple of times and it, it kind of got up, get out of it. Um, but then I kind of, the blacks ended up over the middle bag. And I've snookered him behind the black on the blue. He's hit the blue and potted the pink and left me a free ball with the black over the middle bag. And I've, I've cleared up. I've, Pointed a good pink, I landed the wrong side of the blue. Pointed a good long pink, so I. That was a big frame, obviously, like 3 0 or 2 1, it's, it's a big difference on it. When you first turned pro in 2007, you've been on and off tour a uh, few times. What do you think you need to do to try and submit your pace? <laughs> <laughs> in the top well, 64. As a, uh, I've been reasonably high before, like, I think the highest I was was 67, 68 a few years ago. Um, Things went wrong, I fell off the tour, then I got back on two years ago. But then COVID hit, the clubs have been shut. I've literally, I've not practised for 16 months, basically. I've been turning up to tournaments without playing and just getting pumped, basically. <laughs> so, which you, you kind of expect, you know what I mean? You think, you think you're good enough that there's a chance you'll hit form at one tournament, but I wasn't. And uh, eventually I got a wee bit of practice at Graham Dots and I had a, a wee run in the Gibraltar, I won a couple of games. Then I had a couple of weeks before the World, won a game in that, then two or three weeks before this, obviously get through, so... Need to just start practising now. <laughs> you said you had a game with uh, Maguire before you came yeah, in. in. the last day. You, obviously they have their unit with yeah. McGill and Higgins. Yeah. Is that something you've... Have you tried asking if you can <laughs> practise with them? Well, I can get in for games. Um, I mean, there's, there's room that they could fit one more table, but to be honest, the way they've got it, there's like 12 foot between each table, so they never need to stop and let the other one play a shot. So maybe if they put another table in, it would get bunched up and then you'd be stopping starting. So like, I wouldn't even ask to put the table in. Um, the amount of money it costs as well, I've not got that money, so <laughs> it's not even an option right now. But I looked into trying to get a unit, but as a cost and stuff, it just wasn't working out really. Do you think? Other than general practicing, is there anything specific you think you need to work on to kind of improve the game? I feel, I mean, if I'm get, if I'm practicing, I'll get more games with them because when I'm not practicing, I could still get games with them, but it would be embarrassing. Like if I've not played in three, four weeks and I go and play John, it's a waste of his time and it's a waste of my time. I'm just going to pick balls out all day, and I'm just going to be missing everything. So, like as long as I can actually get practicing, I'll get more games with them. And then that will help me. Like getting games with like John, Maguire, Graham, you can't really get any better than that. I mean, they're literally 10 minutes for mine. There's no one else, I think, would have that kind of standard that close, do you know what I mean? And how do you see the next two years going? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. Could, if, you go off, if you go off to a good start, then you can go on a run. Like, you start winning, winning becomes easy. If you go off to a bad start, losing becomes easy. It's, it's literally, if you, as I say, if you get a good start, then you can do well. Like, I've got off, a few years ago, I, I got a good run going, and I was I was basically getting, like, last 32, last 16, most events, and it was only top 16 that was beating me. Um, so if I can get back to that kind of form and the kind of results, then I'll be happy, obviously. Done the hard part today, so I look forward ah, to it's seeing it's easy you. for now. <laughs> <laughs> well done.